Hello, Mitchell Terena artists. Hi, everyone. It's another art lesson with Carrie. Welcome back. I'm so glad you guys are all here with me again for another week of art. Before I start today, I want to tell you and your parents about something you must listen to. It is a six minute interview with Jerry Saltz on how to be an artist. Jerry is one of what I call my art dads. I have learned so much about art from him. He is the art critic for the New York Times, and he just came out with a book called How to Be an Artist, and there's a six minute interview in this week's email um, that I want every, I would love for every, every artist at Mitchell Charina, that means every single student, to listen to this interview with Jerry talking about how to be an artist. He's one of my favorite art teachers that there are. So I just wanted to say that. So after last week, when we were making our toilet paper roll towns, it got me thinking about cardboard that we all have. And I thought it would be really cool to make a little house and some furniture out of a cereal box. We all have them. I hope that you have one or two of these in your recycling bin at home because that's what we're going to be using today for this um, project. Um, my cameraman just showed you um, what we're going to be making. This is our little um, cereal box house that I made. We made some chairs and we've got a table. I used a piece of fabric to make a rug, but before I did any of that, I decorated, I thought about what kind of house would I wanna live in and how would I want it to be decorated? And I made these decorations on the walls. We also put some art here on the walls. This is um, by artist Maeve. This is a little portrait that she did. There's Maeve. So this is what we're gonna be making today. But first you need a cereal box. You need scissors, you need tape, and you need markers or pastels. All right, so once you have all of your stuff together, we're going to start out by cutting lengthwise along the long end of your cereal box. So here I go. I'm going to cut along here. Oops. So we're gonna cut across the long way and then we're gonna cut down the short way. So now pretty easily we have our box. You're gonna want to tape the lid shut on this side so that we have a wall on this side. Oh, actually, before we tape it, sorry, I forgot you guys. So now we have our box and it's kind of open. This is a really good time to decorate the inside of your box. So you're gonna take your pastels or your markers and you're gonna do whatever kind of designs that you would like to see on the walls, right? So I'm gonna make some squiggles here and maybe some dots. What kind of design would you like on a wall? This is kind of an ocean theme, I feel. Um, what kind of shapes or images? You might be drawing a picture of mountains or a picture of something, or you might just be doing a design like I'm doing. So the first thing you wanna do is decorate the inside and think about what kind of space would you like to be in, right? Because you're gonna be looking at this. So here's my little design. I'm gonna go kind of quick. You guys will probably take longer to do your design. All right, so that's the design that I did for this quick little one that I'm doing. So now, after we've done that, now we're gonna tape the sides of the box shut so that we have our room. All right, so here we go. So now we have 
our room. I'm going to do some designs on the ground before I start making my furniture. Mm -hmm. Let's see, what other color do I want? So again, I'm just doing this really quickly. You guys are gonna take your time and really make your house the way you would like it. This is kind of turning into like a rug or something, it seems like. A mini colored rug. Makes me wanna paint the walls in my house, some cool colors. All right. So now we have colored our walls and our floor inside of our house. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make some furniture. So you're gonna look at your box. Here's another example of how I decorated the inside of another box. So the next thing you're gonna do is you are gonna look at your cereal box and you are going to pick out a spot on the box that you like the color for making your furniture. You can also color the um, the inside of the box too if you want your furniture to be a particular color. But it's kind of nice. I really like this yellow. So I am going to cut strips of this yellow. We're going to make some chairs. Right, so we need some tape for our chairs. Okay, so the way this works is we are going to use our forefinger and our thumb and we are going to crease. This is, we're gonna make the back of the chair, right? So we wanna make a crease. And then we are going to fold it again. So another crease, right? And this is going to be the seat of the chair. Then we're gonna make another crease. So this is the seat, and now we're making the front legs here. So we're gonna trim this off, right? One more crease. Where we wanna, we're gonna trim this off. So it's pretty cool how you can just use this cardboard, just a strip of cardboard, and with some really good creasing, you can create a little chair. So we need some tape. And we're gonna just tape this so that it holds together this back of the chair and to the seat of the chair. And then we're gonna trim off this extra tape. And then you've got your little chair. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a table. So that's a little chair. The next thing we're gonna do is a table. Table is easier then a chair, you just take another strip and you crease one side about a third of the way down the strip. We're gonna crease it, crease, 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 really using our finger muscles. And then we're gonna crease it again on this side fingers are getting a workout and voila you have a table and you just keep doing it I am going to bring my chairs from my other so these little red chairs I colored the um, inside of my cardboard you can color it and make the chair whatever color you want or the table. So I'm going to make another little table out of this. We'll 
clay red table. So you get to think about the color scheme that you're using in your house. And you, I'm really curious to see what you guys come up with. If you think of other ways to fold this cardboard, this cardboard's just really great for making little structures just by using your hands and folding it. So I wonder what else, what you guys might come up with. And we've got this rug, this piece of fabric that I turned into a rug. So I'm putting my table and chairs on this on this rug. Here's another table, another chair, and then I think artist Maeve has some little characters with which to populate our living room since we can't all be together in person at least our toys can have a little hangout time together and let's look back at the original example you can see how I decorated there's a little table still in that room. And then when you're done playing, what's cool about this is you can just actually close it up and store it away, just like the box that it is, and keep all of your furniture in there and all your stuff, and then you can just open it back up, and you've got your little house again. So I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys make. Have a really great time and have fun listening to Jerry Saltz. He's totally amazing. I want to know what you think of him. Have fun, you guys. You guys are awesome artists. Until next time, talk to you guys soon. Have fun.